You didn't know it at the time, but I tricked you into helping me design today's formulation. Late last month, I launched some no context this or that polls on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. The results came in fast and they were decisive. Thick, rich, body, herbal. Today, I'm going to show you how I turned these four words into a thick, rich, herb spiked body cream that's perfect for winter. You can make my formulation or you can apply the strategies I'll use to create this emulsion to your own formulations to make them rich and creamy and delightful. Let's go. Before we can dive into thick, rich body herbal, we've got to understand the basic structure of a lotion formulation. Lotion formulations are divided into three phases, the heated water phase, the heated oil phase, and the cool down phase. The heated water phase is mostly water with other heat stable water soluble ingredients. The heated oil phase is where you'll find the emulsifier, oils, butters, and other heat stable oil soluble ingredients. And lastly, the cool down phase is where we put things that would be damaged by heat. With that bit of basic structure established, we can start creating our formulation. When I'm formulating an emulsion, I always start with the oil phase, since that's where lots of the viscosity and all of the richness decisions are made. The biggest contributor to the richness of an emulsion isn't what you might think. It's not the specific oils and butters you use, though those definitely play a role. What really matters is how much oil is in your emulsion. Just like with food, the more fat that is in the formulation, the richer it is. And that's why 35% cream is so much richer than 1% fat milk. I find an emulsion with 25% and up fat is typically pretty rich, but there's definitely some wiggle room in there for personal preference and the particular oils and butters you're using. I tried a few different versions and settled on a 28.5% oil phase for this formulation. Since this is a body cream rather than a hand cream or a face cream, I'm less concerned about how quickly it sinks into the skin. You can definitely use this cream on your face or your hands, you just might find it to be a bit heavy. The star emollients are rich, sumptuous, and slow absorbing. Shea butter and golden oat oil. To ensure the product still glides across the skin with a smooth transition from glidey to rich but still slippy, I've included some lightweight isoamyl cocoa. So this inclusion is another one made with the body part of the formulation brief in mind because we want great slip for any product that's going to be applied over a large surface area. I've chosen an emulsifier I've been using a lot lately, so hopefully you have it, Reademulse SCG. If you don't, please read the totally free partner blog post for substitution suggestions. The last ingredient in our heated oil phase is where we get lots of gorgeous, thick, creamy goodness. The larger oil phase will definitely give us some viscosity, but this next ingredient is really what transforms this emulsion into a cream, contributing richness and buttery, scoopable decadence. It is C10 to 18 triglycerides, also known as butter pearls. Now all we need to do is sort out the herbal part and we are done our formulation to-do list. I decided to broaden it to herbal and botanical to add a few more options. Knowing this was a rich, thick emulsion, making it perfect for winter skincare, I chose beautiful botanicals that would help nourish the skin in cold, dry conditions. For skin soothing and moisturizing goodness, I included some aloe vera juice in the heated water phase. You'll notice my aloe vera juice is a thin fluid, not a thick green gel, and that is really important. So please look up aloe vera in the free Humble Bee and Me encyclopedia to learn more about the aloe juice that we use in cosmetics so you can be sure you're using the right kind. For additional skin soothing, anti-inflammatory goodness, I've added two herbal extracts to the cool down phase, calendula and chamomile. I've also included two super concentrated botanically derived actives, bisabolol and allantoin. These ingredients occur naturally in plants like chamomile and comfrey root, but have been isolated or synthesized to create a super concentrated version. Think of it like using sugar when you're baking instead of using the whole sugar cane. It's purely the part of the plant you want. Our last bit of moisturizing, skin soothing botanical awesomeness also pairs beautifully with our star emollients, colloidal oatmeal. I've included it in the heated 
oil phase rather than the water phase so it doesn't transform into a glossy porridgey goo when heated. At this point we have checked off everything on our little formulation to-do list. Thick, rich, body, herbal. Now we've just got a couple loose ends to tie up and we're ready to start formulating. We need a preservative so that this doesn't turn into a moldy mess in a matter of days. To keep things natural, I'm going to use Yuxil K903. This preservative causes the pH of formulations to drop, so I've included a fabulous humectant in the heated water phase that will also keep the pH from dropping too much, sodium lactate. A wee bit of vitamin E in the cool down phase helps extend the shelf life of the formulation by delaying rancidity. And this last ingredient makes the emulsion a wee bit thicker and helps improve slip for a better body cream experience. So just a titch of soft xanthan gum. And that's it for our ingredients. But of course there are lots of different ways to combine these ingredients. I made four different versions of this formulation and eventually settled on version number three is the one to share with you. Version one was a bit lighter and more slippy Version two was a bit richer than I wanted. And version four was honestly really close to version three. And I just thought that version three was just like a little bit better. <laughs> I'm sharing all four versions with my $5 not patrons. So if you'd like to check out the other three versions, please consider becoming a patron. But let's make version three right now. I recommend using a tub or jar for this luscious formulation as it is far too thick for a pump top bottle. The lush-like tubs I'm using were a gift from Yellowbee. And here's the finished, thick, rich, herb-spiked body cream. Isn't it decadent? It glides over the skin beautifully, is definitely rich and a bit slow absorbing, but has this stunning powdery finish once it sinks in. I've just given you a little taste of how to formulate an emulsion in this video, but there is tons more to learn. Click here to get started with a whole playlist of videos on how to formulate your very own lotions. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.